Welcome back, Beer Tubers. Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me once again. We're going to look at a Lambic today, and this is a special type of Lambic. It is in the Faro style, and Linnemans calls it Faro, simply Faro. So, this is a style of Lambic you just really don't see a whole lot of these days. I, I don't even think you even see it much in Belgium, but this is uh, probably the only time I've tried a uh, Belgian style Faro Lambic. So, what is a Faro Lambic? Well, it's a typical, you know, soured type of beer, but in this case, we're going to find out how this one tastes, but traditionally they would add sugar to the cask if you're drinking it out of the cask to sweeten it so it wasn't so tart, but nowadays, you know, they probably use a unfermentable sugar to sweeten it up, and sometimes they use spices in there as well, but this thing has a cork, so we're going to get that uh, out of there and uh, get the pour. And let's just see, this is a good amount of carbonation coming off this. I know traditional lambics can be flat, whereas like goose is usually when you see carbonation because they're re-fermented in the bottle. This one's got a good amount of carbonation. It's a very, very clear beer. Uh, good amount of bubbles. The head's slightly off-white, not quite bright. Color's a really clear orange, kind of getting into that amber, like an amber-colored orange Probably looks a lot darker on camera than it is, but uh, let's get the aroma on it. Yeah, it definitely smells, you can smell a sweetness in there. They definitely add some kind of sugar. Um, I don't know, I forget the name of it or if it's, there's a specific one, but you definitely get like a candy, sugary sweetness. Some some apple in there, both like sweet apple, there's some, some tartness to it. A little bit of like a vinegar, a little bit of like almost like a cola caramel sweetness to it. That's what it really reminds me of. Yeah, interesting. Um, maybe a touch of like a spiciness in there. Not, well, it's more like a yeast ester kind of spice than something like they'd add in. So, uh, I don't know. Let's give this a try. See how it is. Cheers. Hmm, that's interesting. Really dry. Definitely some sweetness, definitely some tartness sort of balances out. I am getting some funkiness. So up front, you get a lot of sweetness. There's almost like, like a caramel sugar, you know, kind of like a candy sugar, but, you know, so, or maybe they're trying to emulate like a candy sugar. So like it's caramel, sugary character. There's a lot of like a red apple skin character in there too, like this fruitiness, but it sort of has a bit of like a bitter fruitiness to it. And then uh, it's mostly sweet and then the back end starts to bring out a little bit of a tartness, a little bit of like a lactic acid character. N not a whole lot of funk, just maybe a touch. More of like a pear, kind of pear in the back end, a little bit of like a white wine. Those kind of typical Lambic characteristics shine through, but not overly s sour at all. And it's kind of one of those things, I think it balances a little on the sweet side. While it's pretty dry, I get a good lingering kind of sugary borderline spice character. It's hard to describe. It's almost like a bitterness too. Like a bitter sort of uh, just generic spice. It's not really like coming out of something specific flavor. And that lingers around. I mean, that, the more I drink, the more I really get this sort of dry apple skin character to it. So it's 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 a pretty decent beer. It's it's nothing that I don't think this is a good session beer. I wish it was more tart. I mean that's the thing with Lambic. I like them because they're really tart. But you know they can be balanced and have some sweetness. But this one, you know that the sugar thing is just not quite my thing. So maybe it's just a style. I don't know how this compares to other pharaohs. They're pretty pretty rare to find, and not a whole lot of breweries make them. But. So it's hard for me to kind of judge this one, but I'm going to go with the C. Um, you know, it's, it's an okay beer. It's, it's, it's average. It's nothing terrible. Uh, I'm glad that Lindemann's produces it. Another shot of the ball. Lindemann's Faro. Check it out. I, yeah, it's, a, it's okay for me. So uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe. Until next time, cheers.